Hi there, we are going to create a simple logo search reveal, just like this. Open up Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. I'm working with 30 frames per second. Add a new shape layer, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Go to your effects panel and select gradient ramp. Create a nice gradient. Rename it to background and lock the layer. Select the rounded rectangle tool. Create a shape. Position the layer and make sure the anchor point is in the center. Go to rectangle path and click on the size stopwatch. Make sure the constraint proportions icon is switched off. Drag the keyframe to one and a half second. Drag the timeline indicator to half a second. Create a size keyframe. Also add roundness keyframes. For the second keyframe I change the roundness to 40. Change the size and roundness till it becomes a circle. Drag the timeline indicator to the 13th frame and go to transform. Keyframe the scale. Drag the indicator to the first frame and scale to zero. Add a keyframe at frame 6 and scale it to 150%. Select all keyframes, keyframe assist and choose ease ease. Select all four keyframes of the path animation and select ease ease. Go to graph editor, right click and select speed editor. Select size, drag the string of the first keyframe to the right. The result is a smooth animation. Rename the layer to search field. Make sure the anchor point is in the center. Let's create the magnifying glass icon. Create a new shape layer. Name it magnifying glass. Draw the handle with the rounded rectangle tool. Select the ellipse tool. Add a stroke and remove the fill. Copy the gradient ramp from the background and pass it to the magnifying glass. Scale and rotate the icon till it matches the circle. Make sure the anchor point is centered. Go to frame 12 and keyframe the scale to 100%. Go to frame 6 and change the scale to 150%. Go to the first frame and scale back to 0%. Select all three keyframes, keyframe assist and choose ease ease. Go to the frame where the circle changes to the rounded rectangle. Keyframe the position of the magnifying glass. Go to the frame where the animation finishes. Drag the magnifying glass to the right side of the rounded rectangle. Select the keyframes and choose Ease Ease. Go to Graph Editor. Select the left keyframe and drag the string towards the middle.
Select the type tool and add a brand name. Drag it into the search field. The layer starts when the circle has changed to the input field. Go to the effects panel and select typewriter. Go to the range selector and make the animation one second long. We're going to draw the mouse hand. Create a new shape layer. Draw the mouse hand using the rectangle tool and the pen tool. Add a drop shadow effect to the mouse hand layer. Edit the effect settings in the effects control panel. Rotate the layer. Make sure the anchor point is centered. Keyframe the layer and drag the shape outside the composition. Drag the timeline indicator to where the text animation ends. Position the mouse hand on top of the magnifying glass. Select both keyframes and choose Ease Ease. Go to the graph editor and drag the first string towards the middle. Create a new shape layer and use the ellipse tool to make small circles. Give it a nice color. Make sure there's enough contrast with the background. Copy the layer several times and place the circles in other starting positions. Shorten the layer. Add scaling keyframes to the start. Drag the timeline indicator 20 frames forward and scale to 0%. Go to Keyframe Assistant and select Ease Ease. Go to the Graph Editor, select the second keyframe and drag the string inwards. Do this for all circles. Go back to the timeline and make sure the anchor points are centered. Add position keyframes at the start. Move the timeline indicator forward and drag all the circles out. Align the keyframes properly. Choose Ease Ease and go to Graph Editor. Drag the strings of the second keyframes inwards.
Move the circle layers below the mouse hand layer. And the magnifying glass, the mouse hand layer and the text layer at the start of the circle animation. Next thing is to keyframe the scale of the search field. Convert the keyframes to ESEs and go to Graph Editor. Select the left keyframe and drag the string to the right. Add your logo to the scene. Position and scale it to match the size of the search field. Keyframe the scale of your logo, drag the timeline indicator to the right and scale to 100%. Use Keyframe Assistant and choose Ease Ease. Go to the Graph Editor and drag the string of the second keyframe to the middle. Select the Type tool and add a brand name. Add a Opacity transition to the text layer. If you like, you can add more circles to the animation. Repeat the same steps as we did with the other circles. Last but not least, add the inner shadow to the search field layer. Adjust the settings in the effects control panel. Your animation is done. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I see you next time.